Right, I've got a faulty printer here, and I'm going to strip this for bits now and get the stepper motors out of it. Right, I'm quite impressed with the size of the stepper motor I got out of the printer. And, uh, all I need to do now is hook it up, make sure it still works. It's a uh, four wire one. Right, so I've taped some paper onto the end of the spindle now, and uh, we've uploaded the program. So hopefully, now when I hook this up to the power, it will initialise and then start spinning anti-clockwise. That's great then. Right, so that one works great. So uh, all we need to do now is get another couple of them. And that's all the motors we need for the project. Now, uh, I'm going to continue with the uh, assembling the Z-axis. I'm going to drill and tap where I need to. And then we can actually uh, test it out with it uh, moving. That's great then. Right, I'm going to uh, drill the holes in my Dremel. I've got uh, some M3 screws there, and I've got a 2.5mm drill and a 3mm tap. So uh, I'm going to start drilling all that now. Right, it's starting to look quite good now. Uh, it's looking very square. Now uh, all I have to do is test that motor on that piece of thread and see if that middle nut goes up and down the thread. And then we've got the uh, Z-axis working, ready to get bolted onto the rest of it. That's great then, and uh, thanks for watching.